pebble and roll, you've got to be quick. Got some indoor plants going on. Fully fake though, fully fake. But they have to be a bit of the ambience of the room. Check these out. Check out these puppies. eBay. So much shit on eBay, isn't there? So much shit. But these are like uh, barely two pounds. Got a massive like wrap of those. And you can like cut them in half or something. I stuck one on the outside of a tube the other day. No problem, man. They're pretty good. Good super glue way to go. But you know those little um what are those little punch repair kit called? Tick top or something, tick top, whatever. I don't know. But you can use those. Or get yourself some cheap super glue. And a big old wad of those off eBay. Way to go. Obviously a lot of shit on them, but you've got to like see through all the shit. Watch what you buy on eBay, man. So yeah, another meal blog, just to check in. Talking of shit, Cycling Weekly, man. I've got them on my Facebook, make me laugh out loud. They don't have to come out with some stuff, don't they? Again, it goes to show, doesn't it, I suppose? It's just appealing to the masses, isn't it? One week they're going on about how do you train and what lights you use, all this sort of stuff. I don't know, man. I don't know, Cycling Weekly. They should change the name, get real with it, get real. Um, start doing proper proper reviews and things and talking talking the truth rather than BS all the time because it is BS isn't it it's like slim fast every year isn't it yo-yo it's like a yo-yo yo-yo magazine man I should call it cycling yo-yo I should change the name to cycling weekly cycling on a vegan diet weekly or something I don't know Again, though, you look at all the comments and stuff, and everyone's like, oh, yeah, I do this, I do that. It's again, it's the same crap, isn't it? I'll tell you what, breaking it down, 2011, April, man, when I started the plant-based lifestyle, I bounced off the walls a few times here and there. I'm still bouncing off the walls a little bit now. Of course I am, because it's not very uh, easy at times to just to transition over to, like, to a whole foods diet, really. That's why it's just, there is actually so much food you can eat, though, but you do get a taste for things now and again. But you can still eat pizza without cheese. You can eat a lot of things, so much more things. I mean, it's only the only thing I've cut out my diet when you look at it is dairy products, fish, and meat. Literally, that's all it is. Like, you look at all the sandwiches, right, in the, in the, the deli counters and in the garages and in the just supermarkets and everywhere. Everything's got to have ham with it, isn't it? Ham or like chicken, dairy, like mayonnaise or something. There's no vegan options or nothing. You literally got to make your own. But also, like making your own food anyway, you're getting better food anyway. One, you know what's in it. You can make it to your taste. And you can eat more of it, because you're leaving out all the nasty animal fats and stuff. But, of course, I don't know what I'm doing, because we're talking about, um, I never do anything. I never go cycling or anything. I'll tell you what, I cycled 250 kilometres the other weekend. On, like, no training or anything. And it was damn cold. I carried on going. My legs felt like a little bit at the end, but, you know, I put it all down to, uh, Eating the, eating the bananas and dates pretty much, just clean living. What I'm saying is people, if you do sporties or whatever, or whatever, serious cyclists, pros, amateurs, think about what's going in, what's going in here, man. And uh, the training stuff, like, you'll just be so much better, man. You'll just be running so much more cleaner. To hell with all, like, oh, show me the science, and th there is plenty of science and research out there, but you can be like, I read up a bit on it, but there's reading about stuff, and there's actually doing it and trying it out for yourself, isn't there? So uh, that's what what it's all about. Try and get for yourself. I've seen pretty good results, and I'm not really I ain't doing anything, man. I'm just like a lardy da, whatever, round the block cyclist. I ain't nothing, man. I'm not even really doing anything as far as the raw foods go and a full full natty bra fruit diet is goes. I'm just like all over the place. So like these meal blogs are just kind of like, they're just random dinner blogs, showing you what I'm having. It doesn't necessarily mean you should copy what I'm having. They're just suggestions, recipe ideas to help people. And like, all because I've had X, Y, Z the past few days, it doesn't mean necessarily you should do that too. You should look at the meals as ideas and your taste buds and what you might feel on a certain evening. But just showing you the abundance of food you can eat, the rice, the potatoes, the pasta, the quinoa, the couscous, all the different salads and things, you know, the cheeseless pizzas, whatever, the fries, oil-free fries, or a little stir-fry now and again with a tiny bit of olive oil in there. You see what I mean? There's just so much food. Check out my recipes. Check it out. Check out what I'm eating, see? So good. I mean, you don't always have to have them in 
huge amounts neither. Like, it all depends on your output. So I don't, I don't, I'm also a firm believer on watch, watching what you're putting in here. You don't want to be slamming loads of stuff in if you're not like doing vigorous activity. Again, in my opinion, I don't think, I don't think that's necessary. Just try it out for yourself. I'm, I'm floating around trying different things all the time. Every time I go on my bike, I'm trying different things, you know. Some rides, I might even do it on like four or five hours sleep sometimes if I haven't been able to get to sleep or I've been uh, getting to bed late. Sometimes I might be doing a ride on ten hours sleep. Whatever. Hydrated, dehydrated. You're not always tip-top and on your game all the time. That's what I'm saying. It's an ongoing thing, you know. All these people that make out, they're banging in the smoothies and the green juices and the <laughs> all the time, you know. It's not like that, but that's what they show you, don't they? You don't see all the other stuff underneath. I've been out on sunrise, I've been feeling like awful, like shit, literally sometimes. But um, that's the way it is. That's life, isn't it? Sometimes, you know, you're feeling a bit like shit. Other times, you're not. But it's thinking about how you can better that, isn't it? How, why why has that happened or whatever? Um, yeah, this is a bit, of a bit of freestyle, a bit of a ramble on. I just kind of wipe the mic in and get a bit better audio because... Uh, the audio some of the other videos I did for the day and they weren't exactly that good. So yeah, like, share, subscribe, like this video if you like it, like all my little meal vlogs. It's just kind of I thought it'd be a good idea actually. Again, as I said before, Facebook and Instagram and stuff, it's cool to put up photos. Also nice to have a little check-in now and again. So the plan is to do a dinner sort of check-in every every day really. If, if I remember or if I get time because it does take time, that's why it's nice to see more likes and comments. Because like a lot of us that are doing this, it does take time. And it's all down to support, isn't it? Supporting people that are into the same thing as you are. So, uh, chitter chatter, jibber jabber, whatever. See ya. Oh, yeah. What was I going to say about um, the beginning? I don't know. I'm probably repeating myself. The people that watch me on here, this, again, I've said in videos before, the people that know me, I know. I know you're watching people. You're watching. I'm watching you as well through this lens. I can see you out there. And sometimes you might make a video, or whatever, and you think that's a pile of that's a pile of shit. But looking at it from the other side, if I had a mate on here that I was watching, I think this is pretty cool actually. It's kind of cool to see like what's up, you know. And it can rub off on people. You can think, well, yeah, I'll give that a go. Or it's just watching like someone's a bit of a part of someone's life, isn't it? I think it's pretty pretty trippy, man. Pretty good. I mean, I'd like to watch. That's again, that's Facebook, isn't it? If more people on Facebook were to actually get on there. YouTube, it'd be, uh, it's good man, once you get into it, it really is, it really is good, it's addictive, it's interesting, so yeah, I hope I'm addictive and hope I'm interesting, because it's just nice to inspire people that are into the same thing, I guess, and, you know, people that have like bought a bike and they're wondering where to ride, how to maintain the bike, how to train on for the bike and stuff and things, and just seeing, comparing, you know, just seeing someone else doing things to help them get the best out of their bike and just getting the best out of life and just the best out of being outside, you know, walking and running and stuff. Oh, walking is so easy. I love walking. I know a lot of friends that walk, man. It's just so good, easy. Just put the backpack on and go for a walk. Like off-road. Even on the road, I've seen people walking. Not power walking, but just walking. Nothing wrong with that. Walk from A to B. It's so easy, especially the supermarket. You don't need a lot of stuff. Just walk to the supermarket rather than hop in the car. Right, bye. And beans, don't forget. So some chopped bell peppers. I kind of like these, man. They're pretty good. Not worried on the colours. They all pretty much taste the same. High water content. Cucumber, again, good. Chopped up. I mean, if I had more time, I probably would have chopped it up finer, but this will do. Tin sweet corn. Yeah, okay. Salt free. Yeah, I'll use it now and again. No bother. Just stir it all in. And then, in a minute, I'm going to add some hummus, which... Which I got again, as I mentioned before, I got from the store. I have no problem with that. Um, some organic pepper I just added then. I do like uh, I do like my black pepper actually. So there we go, some original hummus, all mixed in. Tiny bit of Tabasco, not too much this time. Again, just go with taste buds, whatever you're wanting at the time, isn't it? So yeah, look at that, pretty good. They served a purpose anyway, and they filled a gap. And uh, there's my ingredients. Again, it's all supermarket conventional stuff, apart from the organic beans there. Sometimes I'll get organic uh, bell peppers from uh, other superstores, but again, it's doing your best. Nipped up the town. 
got some healthy looking food. Looks pretty healthy to me. Does that look pretty healthy to you? There you go. Go and make yourself some tomorrow. All right now if you want a meal idea. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, I shall see you soon. Bye.